Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The fiber bait fish is a brightly colored pattern that presents big, but still casts easily. It's sure to draw the attention of just about any predatory warm water fish species. The fly starts with a heavy duty size one hook. Get the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Then load a bobbin with the spool of white unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking a few wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. To add a little sparkle to the fly, snip three or four strands of silver flashaboo free from the hank, then locate the midpoint of the strands. Place the midpoint on top of the hook shank and take thread wraps to secure it. Then, fold the forward pointing portion back and begin anchoring all the flashaboo to the top of the hook shank, and with your tying thread about an eye length back from the hook eye. Next, Snip a small full-length clump of the white zelon free from the hank and locate its midpoint. Place the midpoint of the segment just behind the eye on the far side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure it. Bring the forward pointing portion of the material under the hook shank. Pull both sides down and take rearward thread wraps to pin the material on either side of the hook. Now, snip a similar sized clump of pink Zelon free from the hank and find its midpoint. Secure the midpoint to the top of the hook shank behind the eye. Bring the forward pointing portion back and take rearward thread wraps to pin it back. Snip off an inch and a half long length of red Zelon yarn and separate it in two lengthwise. Find the midpoint of one of the halves and place it on the underside of the hook shank behind the eye. Take a few thread wraps to secure it there, then pull the forward pointing portion back and take thread wraps to keep it angled rearward. Continue taking thread wraps to build up a nice little head on the fly, then spread the material out just a bit. Pick up your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. Once again, spread the material until it looks something like this. Squeeze out a small amount of flexible adhesive, like silicone seal, onto a piece of scrap paper. With your bodkin, pick up just a little bit. Place the adhesive on the near side of the fly, right behind the exposed thread wraps. Then flip the fly over, pick up another small amount of adhesive, and apply that to the same area on the far side of the fly. Now. Switch the fly back so you can access the near side. Using your bodkin or a hobby knife, pick up one of the 3D eyes. Place the eye on top of the adhesive and press it down firmly so it fully seats in the adhesive. Repeat the same eye placement procedure with a second eye on the far side of the fly. In the end, the two eyes should be mirror images of each other. Pick up your head cement, or here, Sally Hansen hard as nails, and apply an ample drop to the exposed thread wraps behind the hook eye. Make sure all the wraps are well coated. At this point, it's important to set the fly aside and allow the adhesives to dry thoroughly. With the adhesives completely dried or cured, once again fan the material out. Using sharp tying scissors, trim the fly to shape. You want to keep it nice and wide at the head, then have it tapered down to a point at the tail. In the end, the fiber bait fish should look something like this. As big as this fly looks, it sheds water really well and casts much better than you would think. Mm -hmm.